Welcome to the eMotion LV1 video tutorials. The channel window gives you a complete view of a selected channel or bus, and it provides control over every channel parameter. The entire chain of the selected channel is addressed in this window. Input, Plugin Editing and Control, Aux Sends, and Output. The name of the selected channel is shown in the Name box on the top bar. To rename a channel, double-click on the box. Use the Channel Name drop-down menu to directly access and select a channel. You can also use the left-right arrows to move the selection up and down one channel at a time. When you're in the Mixer window, Touch a fader or a channel strip to select the channel. The channel strip becomes highlighted and the fader turns yellow. Workflow in the channel window is generally from left to right. The input section manages input sources, preamp and trim control, filters, and input delay. There is also an input meter. Each channel can have up to eight plugins. Plugins are added, removed, and managed with the plugin drop down menu. Click on a plugin thumbnail to access the plugin pane, where you have complete control over its parameters. The main control section combines the displays and controls of the channel's plugins. Auxins are also controlled from here. The main control section consists of two parts. The central plugin section lets you simultaneously view and control one assigned filter, one EQ processor, and one dynamics processor. To the right are the aux sends. Channels and buses can be sent to auxes. Aux sends are also available on aux bus channels to provide more processing and mixing options. The output section has two displays. This panel is used to assign channels to the main outs. It's also used to assign channels and buses to groups and matrix, as well as to mute groups and links. The external routing panel is used to assign IOs to the channel's direct outputs. This is also where you assign IOs to delay groups, adjust I.O. trim, and select channel source. In this lesson, we took a tour of the channel window, which you can use to set all channel parameters. In the next several videos, we'll look at the channel window section by section. Thanks for watching this eMotion LV1 video tutorial. See you next time.